Pegabond manga series is considered as one of the best seinen manga of all time, spoken in the same breath as Berserk. Pegabond has exceptionally detailed art, and it's being based on real life of Miyamoto Musashi. The series remains incredibly popular to this day, despite approaching eight years of gap. Nevertheless, Pegabond's status and popularity remain constant, only ever growing in respect and acclaim rather than falling to the edge. Well, one would assume such an immensely popular series as an anime adaptation of some form. This isn't the case. As of now, there is no form of anime adaptation for this series whatsoever. While there are many reasons as to why this would be, with Inoue's own personal feelings included, there are a few key facts about the series that stand out. Follow along as this video fully breaks down why Vagabond has no anime adaptation. While the question of why Vagabond has no anime adaptation is an incredibly popular one. There are few reasons and explanations as to why this is. The most pressing comes in the form of the anime industry's origins and purposes, especially as it relates to adapting the manga source material. In the most basic terms, the anime industry exists to drive revenue for the manga industry, especially advertising a manga in an animated form. This is often why sales numbers for a manga play a large factor in whether or not an anime will be made. A certain sweet spot is needed where an anime adaptation can be financially justified but there's still room for financial growth in manga sales from the anime productions with Inoue's Vagabond being one of the most consistently popular manga series of all time there's no real need for an anime adaptation to exist from a financial standpoint even when first released in the late 90s this series this series sold incredibly well and was extremely popular from a financial standpoint, there's simply no need to create an anime adaptation for the series. There's also the timing of when the manga was first being released. At the time, many seinen series were being adapted into sets of OVAs rather than full-fledged anime adaptation. A criticism of this approach, which could be a major factor in why Vagabond has no anime adaptation. These OVAs from this time typically were too short to properly adapt a series. While there are some expectations, something on the level and scope of Inoue's manga series certainly wouldn't have been done justice in this format. The OVA approach also plays into financial concerns with these adaptations typically cutting their cost to compensate for entering the direct-to-video market. While a full-fledged seinen anime adaptation releasing at the time was the Berserk, this was exceptional due to how established and successful Berserk had become by that time. A final major reason for why Vagabond has no anime adaptation stems from the Gekika-inspired art style of the series. In basic terms, the Gekika style is the predominant seinen manga style throughout the 1960s and 70s. It's aesthetically defined by sharp angles, dark hatching shading and gritty line. Thematically, it's defined by realism, social engagement, maturity and masculinity. Vagabond has all these elements. To simplify the significance of this, many mangaka who created Gekika or Gekiga inspired manga series didn't feel that the anime could replicate their artwork properly. Combined with the OVA issues, it's likely that Inoue himself has shot down the idea of an anime adaptation. Thankfully, the anime industry of the modern world is vastly different, with several success seinen series such as Vinland Saga and Helsing Ultimate receiving full-fledged adaptation, while hope exists for an eventual Vagabond anime adaptation.